Ninja. He's kind of unwieldy, but he's he's cool. He's really really fun. I like his mobility. So we have RG and Loki and Thor. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This is an interesting matchup. I feel like Greninja is just going to be capable of running over Rob, just running straight into him. He has really great mobility, but uh, Rob is no joke when it comes to mobility himself. I mean, as a heavy, he's surprisingly fast. Oh boy, in the Nair too. Yeah, and I've seen Greninja's jab connect to about like 12% or so. It's really good on a ledge. <laughs> clink, clink. All right, narrowly avoiding that laser. Still getting hit by that up air, though. Yeah, pretty good positioning on this. Rob's part, almost getting that down smash. Oh, yeah, that forward air. That forward air can do like 16% with a full hop. It's actually nutty. And fairly safe on shield, too, if you're able to uh, space it properly. Okay, doing the shadow sneak. Oh, getting down tilted. This is not good. Uh, releasing shield at the wrong time, too. And Raigai is, I, I actually like what I see Raigai doing here. He's trying to condition Loki and Thor at the edge. Nice. Yeah, get that up there. And for Rob being as heavy as he is, being at 59, not really, not really that intimidating. And Loki finds himself at the edge fairly often. Okay. Interesting, using the up throw. I, I don't really know a whole lot about Rob in this iteration of the game. But uh, using up throw as a combo throw, that's that's cool. Ah, uh, thought he had a gyro. Okay. Ooh, yeah, it's a shadow sneak. Typically what I've seen is uh, a shadow sneak is something that you want to do like as a something to finish a combo with and kind of just like throwing it out as a movement option. It's too laggy. Okay. Ooh, barely getting just one hit of that back air. Yeah, Loki having a bit of a bit of a predicament here. Always being caught at that ledge. I think he needs to play a bit more of a safe neutral. Oh. Gyro picking it up. Uh, this, and this is like you don't want to get edge guarded by Rob. <laughs> of all characters, uh, Rob is especially brutal. Oh no, connecting these lasers, and going straight into the gyro too. It's like I'm gonna land right on this. Okay, not really doing much, just going for a grab. Oh, I thought we were going to see an up smash, yeah. Side B, I think all three of those kills have been side B. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, I know for, for certain that uh, down throw used to be the thing to go for with Rob, just because it always worked. Up air, 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 all the time. But uh, up air or uh, up throw? That's interesting. I like that. That's a neat little piece. But I think what I see Loki and Thor, I've been saying it throughout the match, he needs to play a bit more safe in the neutral and wait for Rob. Because you have the mobility. You can be ambiguous with your movement. And this isn't too bad either. I mean, I think giving Rob areas to land is kind of sketchy, but you can just chain up air with uh, Greninja, so it's really all about adapting. Mm. Kind of early on the up smash. Ooh. Good grab. Okay. Fair little bit of damage. Oh, okay. Shadow Sneak. Trying to get cheeky with that Hydro Pump, too, but... Nope. Dash Attack. Dash Attack into Forward Air. Oh, getting him with the Shuriken? Okay. Another Shadow Sneak. I'm pretty sure Raigai is going to have a handle on this when he tries to do it a third time. But it sounds like Loki is getting a bit on track here when it comes to his neutral. Uh, side B, I might have jinxed it.
Good and air. Good and air. <laughs> Trying to two frame him with an air. Okay. Mm. Not sure why he went for the forward smash there, Rad Guy. Ooh. Almost linking the Nair into the back air. And I've always liked how uh, Rob can just back air just to get some some traction. Like he can just return or recover with back air. I think uh, him and Korn are the only characters that can really do that with their back air. Ooh. Uh, no, 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 not quite. Uh. Ooh, no tech zone. Yeah, and that, that up tilt is actually quite good. Just uh, penetrates the platform. <laughs> he tried to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Tried to go for the counter off stage. Trying to go for something a little uh, kooky. And I like what I'm seeing from Ryguy here. When it comes to uh, crunch time, he's really starting to just go into the spacing game. He could have just been doing that the whole time. It seems like they almost uh, switch roles. Ah, uh, Loki not quite spacing the up tilt, but he managed to get the up smash. Okay. Wow, the fact that you can just dash attack in a shield and still, you know, jab right after. And Greninja has a three-frame jab. The second I saw that, I thought, okay, <laughs> it's time to play this character. Nice, very nice uh, substitute. But Loki, he just kind of took his stage presence and just kind of ran with it. He didn't exactly establish any threats. Oh, <laughs> the gyro, okay. Really trying to side B this man. Okay, Hydro Pump. That was a really good position for Loki. Uh, let's see if he can uh, make the most out of it. Oh, no. I think he's been trying to go for the hard reach with that substitute a bit too much, and I don't think uh, Rai Guy's really allowed Loki to earn that substitute. Oh, that's killing, isn't it? Oh. Okay, yeah, right guy, right guy taking that. Right guy taking that for sure. I think he had a bit more of a calm and collected presence in the neutral there. Boy, oh boy. And you know, like, when I think about Greninja and, and Rob, a part of me is just like, oh, well, he has great mobility. He can rush down and cross up. And I think, I think Rob doesn't really enjoy getting cross up uh, more so than other characters. It doesn't really appear like he has a whole lot of you know, great options. Like, I, I suppose you could turn around down tilt. Uh, side B is just far too... It, the, the end lag is kind of much. So, playing a character like Greninja where you can just nair, 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 all day, it seems, it seems really tough for Rob. But still, good stuff to both players. Oh, the new location. So the new location for MSM is going to be at the Holiday Inn in La Mirada. I'm excited. Yeah, it's it's not as close to me anymore, but I mean, you got to do what you got to do. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think the 2GG Prime Saga is also going to be at the Holiday Inn in La Mirada. I could be wrong about that. Are we being joined by Azu? Oh, he faked me out. No, no, Azu faked me out. Oh. There he is. That's the boy. I didn't even know you were going to be here. What's up? Hmm. Honestly, I didn't think I'd be here, too. Oh? Uh. -huh. uh Something, yeah, something happened to the audio. Uh, he, he has yet to turn on the mic. Uh, just give him a second. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. 
Is it is it true that you're salty? Salty? Yeah, that you're a salty player. I'm a salty player? Yeah. No, not really. Oh, okay. I just heard a little bit of a rumor, that's all. From you can't you can't believe in the internet anyway. I Especially mean, not Twitch chat. I mean, there are wait. Ah, uh, no, nah, not really. Uh uh, I'll answer your question after I'm sure the mic's working. Mm. Yeah, when Nathan returns. <laughs> uh, they just uh, they just posted where the new MSM is going to be at. La Mirada. Oh, okay. Holiday Inn. Uh, I missed having a nice 15-minute drive. Hmm. Yeah, so as it stands right now, I think we're just waiting for Azu to get his microphone turned on. I mean, you know, I'm not a character loyalist by any stretch of the imagination, but I do believe in comfortability. Like, I've played my main for so long that it's just like when I move into this one, they still kind of feel good, so I'm not going to, you know, regardless of where they are on the tier list. So I, I can definitely understand 